Are you from here? No, I'm not from here. I'm from the Myanmar. Oh, Myanmar. Yeah. Okay. You know, right? Yeah. I haven't been there. And for the charcoal meat. Boom. Wow. There you go. Oh yeah, it is. This country. You can come in and join. Sorry. What's up, guys? I'm here at possibly the second most popular mall here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The KLCC, right under the Petronas Towers. As you can see, the Petronas Towers are behind me. The mall is there, and today we're gonna explore the mall. We're gonna find some food and hopefully try something very local and see what this mall has to offer. Now, I am out front right now. There are some people taking photos, mainly Chinese tourists because they just got off the bus. But we're gonna head inside and we're gonna get going on this video. So let's head inside. All right, I have just entered the mall here. Now the mall name is Surya KLCC. Uh, that's how you say it, or that's how you spell it. I don't know how you say it, but I've entered through the Petronas Towers. That's one of the uh, entrances and exits. A lot of people come in and out through there because of the focal point with the towers. But there is a main entrance on the other side, and you can go in that way. Or you can come in through the back side, which is where the park is. So there are a few ways to get in and out of here. But first things first, we're going to head up to the food court and find some food. This one, fried beef. Beef, yes. How do you say it? Kui tiao. Kui tiao? Kui tiao. Kui tiao. Kui tiao. Okay, I'll do this one. Please. Would you like green? Uh, what is a hundred plus? The plus is a small drink. Small drink. Like soda? Yeah. Like Coca Cola? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Energy drink. Energy. Oh. Sassi okay. like a Coca Cola. So like what? Uh, this one Coca Cola. This one is Sassi, but uh, like Coca Cola. This one great. Okay. Okay. I'll try the Coke. S Cola, please. Are you from here? No, I'm not from here. I'm from the. I'm from the Myanmar. Oh, Myanmar. Yeah. Okay. You know, right? Yeah. I haven't been there. No, one day, hopefully. One day, yeah. Not now. It's not for you, sir. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Do you like chili this one, yeah? Chili spicy, okay. yeah? This one? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right guys, just made it up to the second floor here in the mall. The second floor is actually where the food court is. The food court is called Signature Food Court. There's two sides to it, which it is divided by like a small restaurant. And on one side you have a bunch of restaurants, the other side you have a lot of other ones too. There's some very nice restaurants, and then there's like food court mall uh, restaurants that you would expect with very cheap dishes. Now there is a mix of international stuff like Subway, uh, there's a pizza place over here, so Italian I guess. And then you have the local cuisine as well as maybe some more like Korean and Thai. But I did just sit down here. I got a dish. The dish I got is right here. It looks incredible. I did choose to eat at a place called Wok Grill. And it is numbered, so if you want to try it someday. It's called Wok Grill F206. F206 is its um, identification number, so you can find it when you're in here. So what did I get? Let's see. So here's the meal. I got a local soda. So this is like the local Coca-Cola of Malaysia. I almost forgot which country it was it. And then the dish I got here is something that I cannot pronounce. Let me get the receipt to show you or to tell you. It is fried kia choy beef. No idea how to say that. She tried to teach me, but I couldn't say it. It's difficult. But yeah, this dish here is 12.17 ringgit super super affordable and the drink is 2.83 ringgit so the total comes to 15.9 ringgit for a meal here in the Shuria KLCC food court mall or mall with the food court so let's dig in all right let's dig into this meal here the local coca-cola called 
EST, EST Cola. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. It's got an interesting taste. It reminds me of a, a Diet Coke, but mixed with something else. I have no idea about it, how they make this, but whoa. Oh, this is actually a really good taste. It's not like Coke. I mean, I just said it's like Diet Coke, but it's not really like the Coca-Cola, the one that's not Diet, Light, or Zero. It's really interesting. All right, I don't know, a little fruity tasting. Let's dig into this. Here we got the, it's basically beef flat noodle. Looks freaking phenomenal. You can see here, uh, there's the noodles and it's saturated in some stuff, no idea. Uh, maybe some soy or something. But then we also got the chicken meat in here, or not chicken, sorry. <laughs> we got the beef. And the beef is like charcoal kind of and, and uh, grilled to uh, fine consistency, I guess I could say. No. But yeah, this beef here is really like charcoal and grilled up really well, it seems. It's uh, cooked all the way through, I bet, because of how dark it is. And then there are some what are these? Uh, bean sprouts. Also, there's a few uh, dry chilies in there kind of bad at holding chopsticks. Meanwhile, there's a bunch of people looking at me in here. But yeah, look at that. That's the... It's so black, the camera won't even focus. But we got this, and then we got some more chilies to make it even spicier, because you know me, I like my chili. For real, let's dig into this here. Let's get a scoop of the beef noodles first. Mmm, wow, the perfect texture, cooked all the way, not overcooked, not underdone, just so perfect. Really oily though, like you get that oil on your lips after you, you bite them. I think it's soy sauce on here, but I'm not really sure because it also tastes a little sweet. Like maybe they mixed it in with some sort of sweet sauce, like a fish sauce, I don't really know. There also is, I think, caramelized onion in here. And I love onion, especially when it's caramelized. But then the other good thing is you have these little it's and bits of pieces of the charcoal meat, which is in between the noodles. So you get a bite of that when you're eating it. And man, you get that like, that strong charcoal taste. If you've ever had like meat off of a grill. All right. Mm. This is super, super tasty. But even though there's those dry chilies in there, it's not spicy at all. So what we're gonna do, like we always do, is we're gonna add more spice. But I don't know if these are that hot. They're the green chilies, we'll find out. We'll mix them in there like that, throw a couple more. All right, that's about half of them. A little bit of sauce. There we go. And now, all we gotta do is stir it up together. Perfect. Like I was saying, these are the dry chilies. There's some seeds on there. Let's try it out. Mmm. A little kick. Not too hot, actually. It's like the, the sauce and stuff neutralized it. Definitely not spicy. But really tasty. And for the charcoal meat. Boom. Wow. It's so soft. It just melts in your mouth when you chew it. That's phenomenal. Wow. This is an excellent dish. Maybe there's some lemongrass in there. Is that lemongrass? I think so. Maybe not. Wow. All right, let's take a heaping scoop with everything in it. If I can pick it up with these chopsticks. Still learning my chopstick game, game here. It's always a struggle. 
Can't do it. Try to get a big one. Damn. There we go. Mmm. So good, wow. Some of the beef is a little fatty, so it's a little bit chewy, and it doesn't break down as easy, but most of it's pretty easy to chew. Mm. Mm. And the portion size for this is just perfect. Not too big, not too small, depending on who you are. Here's the green chili, let's try it out. Wow. That one had an immediate kick, oh my god. Hmm. Super tasty, but wow. Yeah, that one had a kick, but delicious. Now guys, I just stumbled upon this restaurant here in the mall, in the, in the food court. Now I don't know if this is totally 100% local to Malaysia, but it looked delicious so I decided to try it. Let me know some other foods I should try while I'm here in Malaysia, uh, and especially Kuala Lumpur. But uh, yeah, just had to, had to eat this because it looked so delicious. And I don't normally eat noodles, to be honest. I eat a lot of rice. All right, let's dip a little bit more in here. A couple more spices. Super, super tasty dish here in the food court. Got a little bit left, I'm gonna finish it up, and then we're gonna head back into the mall, to walk around, and I'll show you what else there is here in Malaysia's maybe second most popular mall. At least one of the most popular here in Kuala Lumpur, for sure. So the KLCC mall here has a total of six floors. You have floors with the regular numbers of one, two, three, and four, and just eight on floor number two. And I've just come to the top now, that's floor four. The other two floors are considered the ground floor and then C floor. I don't know what C stands for, but C is at the bottom below the ground floor. And so at the top of the floor, here we are. As you can see, I've been led out into the centerpiece here. This is the column, no, well this is where the columns are, but it's the open center here. They always have a display happening down here, some advertisements, there's elevators located in the middle. And uh, this is a good place that you can just sit, hang out, and people watch if you are bored here. Or while your, your wife or girlfriend or somebody is shopping, just come here. So the plan is to work from the top floor all the way down to the bottom. And to tell you about each floor, and to see what I see there, give you some impressions, and so on. But uh, the mall here is actually really well known for a discovery center. Now, is this it? I don't know, that's Explorasi. So maybe this is the discovery center area. I'm not really sure actually. Hmm, what is it? I don't know, maybe it is. Target ticket Lawatan. Oh, it might be, yeah. There's like water over there, it looks like there's a ride. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is. Discovery Center. I see it there. So that's the Discovery Center. You can come here and enjoy some sort of... Sorry? You can't make a video in here? Yeah, cannot. How come? It's free, I cannot make a video. Sorry? This is a city mall, cannot make a video. A city mall? Yes, this is free. Oh my god, cannot make a video. Okay. You need a license or something? Okay. You can't make a video in the mall. Not at all? Yeah. Okay. Okay, interesting. There's literally security guards right here that aren't even stopping other people from taking videos. Talking into my phone to make it seem like I'm not. That was some crazy, crazy shit. All right, I'm getting out of this mall. We'll go outside and I'll, I'll talk to you about how, how it happened, how it went down. Wow, that was some crazy shit that happened. I literally got to the top floor and I started to film and some guy just ran after me wearing a tuxedo, like a management person. And he's like, no, no, you can't film. And he was telling me, no, no, no. And I was asking him why, and he wouldn't tell me. I don't get it. Everyone else is filming. 
People are on their phones filming. People have cameras taking pictures. That's the first time I've ever been told I can't film in a mall. I don't get it. What, what's the reason? Makes no sense. I'd like to know why. I don't know, but we're outside now. And at least I got a meal in that was really great. And uh, said a couple things inside, but that mall was really cool. If you do come here to uh, Kuala Lumpur, you gotta check out this mall. Whatever you do, don't make a video because they'll probably chase after you. And uh, yeah, lots of stores in there. High-end stores, Gucci, Prada, you know, low-end stores, little snacks, coffee shops, everything's in there. So you can find everything you probably want. It's a great place to hang out, spend a few hours, then I come outside, enjoy the fountains here where they, hopefully they won't yell at you. So if you guys know any reason why maybe I'm not able to film in there or why people can't film in there, please let me know. Uh, inform me. What is it that is disallowing me from making a video in there? Is it just this mall? Is it all the malls here in Kuala Lumpur? I'd really like to know because I was even thinking about making a video in the other mall. I forget the name of it, but it's technically the biggest mall in all of Malaysia. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna be able to do that now. Or maybe the only way around it is to make a video with my phone because they're not gonna say anything with the phone. They'll probably think I'm just taking a photo or doing something. So I might be able to do it that way. It's just that the audio will be sacrificed because I won't have a good microphone but it will be pretty discreet, so I might be able to do it that way, but let me know. Why? Just why can't I use my camera in there? So at the point of filming this part, the part that I'm talking now, in the moment, I kind of have a blur, like what even happened and what he said to me, but I'm pretty sure he was just telling me not to film in there, or maybe because it's a public mall or a private mall or because of the towers being right there. I have no idea, but uh, it really sucks because I was hoping to try some other places, maybe get some snacks maybe try a local drink or something, but that's not gonna happen. And instead we're continuing the video out here in the KLCC park that's in the back, which is a beautiful park. You can come here and run as you probably just saw, somebody ran by me. Sit by the fountains, the little lakeside there, let your kids run in the waterfall that's over there, all sorts of things. I actually made a video about this, so I'll link it here or here, whatever side that is on. Uh, but yeah, what a bummer. Now? I don't know. I don't know. Well, since this video was really just supposed to be about the mall there, and now that I left the mall, it's probably good that I end the video. And uh, yeah, if I do something else and I feel like adding it, I will. But if not, thanks for watching, guys. The video that went all wrong, caught by security at the mall. And I'll catch you guys soon in the next video. Peace.